Since Guy Jackson was born in Staten Island, New York in 2002. But at nine years old, she relocated to Los Angeles to pursue an acting career. You may know her best for her role on Jesse, yet there's more to know about Jackson than just her work. This is a look at the stunning transformation of Sky Jackson. Sky Jackson's career began early very early. She got started with print modeling at just nine months old before moving on to acting in commercials at just one year of age. Fostering her career wasn't necessarily easy, though. Jackson told Entertainment Tonight in 2019 that she and her family were going through a financial struggle when she was young, and they didn't always know if they would have the money to make it to her auditions. But all of the hard work paid off. While Jackson realized from a young age that being in the limelight had its pros and cons, she still loved being in front of the camera. She told E.T. that she always knew she wanted to be an actress, taking inspiration from the stars who came before her. I knew just from watching different TV shows and movies, like for instance, Raven Simone, when I would see her on TV, I felt like, wow, like she's a young black girl and she can do it, I can do it. Just because Sky Jackson had early success in her career doesn't mean the road to stardom was sunshine and roses. Growing up, she experienced problems that anyone could relate to. She shared in an interview with Entertainment Tonight that she experienced bullying throughout her youth, primarily for being small in stature. And social media didn't help. She joined Twitter when she was 10 years old and Instagram one year later, broadening her audience while bringing her face-to-face -face with hateful comments. Being a young age, I didn't understand why these people were saying these things, and I would get really, really sad. When people say mean comments, she explained, it's easy to find yourself starting to believe them. Over the years, though, Jackson learned to love herself and has since stopped caring so much about what anyone else has to say. In an interview with Teen Vogue about combating bullies, Jackson told listeners how she's managed to tune out bullies and fashion critics alike. While she said she used to try to confront her haters, she's learned to ignore them so long as she is happy with herself. She also recommends telling parents, principals, or other adults about bullying. And bullying doesn't need to be extreme to be a bother. Even things like unsolicited fashion advice or criticism can wear on a person's self-esteem. But according to Sky Jackson, other people's negativity doesn't have to change how you feel about yourself. People sometimes don't like what I wear or have something negative to say about that. But I just know that as long as you like it and that you're cool with it, everything's all good. When Sky Jackson was just eight years old, she secured an audition for the Disney Channel sitcom Jessie. The young star was later called out for a screen test in Los Angeles. And, of course, the talented young actress got the part. She recalled in a 2017 interview with YSB Now how surreal it felt to take such a dramatic leap forward for her career. I just went from being in New York and just working and doing print and doing TV to now being on a Disney Channel TV show. The show follows the story of Jesse, played by Debbie Ryan, a small-town teen from Texas who nannies for the Ross family in New York. Jackson played the role of Zuri Ross on Jesse for several years, from 2011 to 2015. In an interview with Premiere in 2014, while the show was still in production, Jackson shared that she sees a little bit of herself in Zuri, too. Zuri has a little sass to her, and mm -hmm. I also have a little sass. So I would say that we both share those two qualities of sassiness. After starring as Zuri in Disney's Jesse, Sky Jackson went on to sign for the Disney Channel spin-off sitcom Bunked in 2015, where she reprised her role as Zuri Ross. I'm really going to miss you, Bertram. Oh, I'm going to miss you too, especially your stock tips. Bunked follows the story of the Ross family to summer camp at Camp Kikiwaka in Maine. The Ross kids aren't used to being in the great outdoors, so they have a lot of skills to master with the help of their camp counselors. Jackson told Shine On Media in an interview that she relished the chance to continue playing her most famous character on another series. Much about the show was different but familiar, since it was shot on the same lot and soundstage as Jesse, but with the brand new set and story focus. Sky Jackson isn't only known for being a Disney star, she's also recognized for her no-nonsense approach to life. In fact, she made headlines in 2016 when she tweeted about Azalea Banks following what Us Magazine reported as the singer's racist and homophobic rant against Zayn Malik. The then 14-year-old Disney actress shared on Twitter, Azalea Banks needs to simmer down a little. Banks, who was 24 at the time, replied to the criticism from Jackson by posting, And you need to grow some hips and start your menses. Stay in a child's place. Jackson followed up with another tweet, writing, 
When a no-hip-having 14-year-old has more class than you, worry about your career. Get one. That obviously didn't sit well with Banks, who came for the young actress once more by calling her a quote, Disney Channel reject. She also added, enjoy it while it lasts. The Twitter feud ended with Jackson telling Banks, I had a career before Disney, and I'm sure I will after. And I know I won't turn out like you, bitter and miserable. Fix your life. And I'm sure my mom did a way better job than yours did. You give black women a bad name. I'll be praying for you." Even if you don't know Sky Jackson from television, there's a good chance you think she looks familiar. That's because she became a viral meme in 2016 when a photo of her started making its rounds. The actress told Now This Entertainment, "...I was going on a Good Morning show here in New York, and it was really early and I was really tired, and I took the picture. For me, I, I don't really care. I'm like, whatever, it's a picture." The next thing she knew, people were taking the image with its peculiar Mona Lisa-esque expression and using it to react to all kinds of different situations, conveying everything from guile, pettiness, to seething rage. The popular meme has been used with a variety of captions like, "...when y'all both waiting on the other person to apologize first," and "...when you meet his mom and she says, "...oh, so you're the girl he's always on FaceTime with, but you got an Android." Sky Jackson was notably listed as one of Time's 30 Most Influential Teens of 2016, and part of it had to do with that widely circulated meme. Time commended Jackson for quickly joining in on the joke about herself and for using her newfound fame to be a force for good. The publication credited her for speaking out against cyberbullying and for winning her highly public, unexpected battle with Azalea Banks. The Disney star was just 14 years old when she made the list alongside Maddie Ziegler, Logan Guleff, Gaten Matarazzo, Sasha and Malia Obama, and more. All in all, quite the achievement for a teenager. In 2018, Sky Jackson gave a speech at a March for Our Lives event, which she spoke about in an interview for Now This Entertainment. March for Our Lives started as a student-led demonstration that supports legislation to prevent gun violence in the United States. Its mission, according to the organization's site, is to harness the power of young people across the country to fight for sensible gun violence prevention policies that save lives. Jackson recalled attending the event and now this, saying it was the first time she'd ever given a public speech in front of so many people. What inspired me to get involved is just that it's such an important topic and I feel like we're just like letting it happen and doing nothing about, about it, especially the government. In her speech, Jackson called for her peers to take a firm stance against gun violence. It's time for this generation, my generation, to take a firm stance and demand a change. Sky Jackson is certainly no stranger to the camera, and in July 2019, Jackson appeared in a Lil Nas X music video. Though she didn't actually film with Lil Nas X, she did make it into his video for the song Panini. Jackson dished to Now This Entertainment. Everything was filmed on a green screen, pretty much, so the only time it was actually, like, real is when I was in the alley in the beginning of the music video and he was, like, popping up in front of me. The shoot took three days of long hours to complete, but despite the lengthy shoot for a short video, Jackson told Good Morning America that the experience was really fun. It was, like, crazy because I, I was, like, just listening to the song and I was like, okay, this is gonna be my first music video, but it it was really fun. In 2019, Sky Jackson's memoir, Reach for the Sky, How to Inspire, Empower, and Collab Back, was published. In the book, she shares her best life lessons and explains how she rose to stardom. She spoke about the meaning of the book in an interview with Good Morning America. The message in the book is just to be yourself, love yourself no matter what anyone tells you to, and to inspire, empower, and clap back. During an interview with AOL's Build series, Jackson explained that she wrote her book to inspire people. It only took a couple months for her to finish writing, and Jackson felt it was the perfect time to publish it. While some might think that Jackson was too young to write a memoir when she was just 16 years old, she had lived quite a story life already. Her childhood growing up on commercials and in print ads paved her path to stardom on Disney Channel as a young black girl in an industry that didn't necessarily make it easy. Sky Jackson uses her platform to help wake the world up to and speak out against racism. Speaking in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, she spoke about thousands of fans who she says message her about the racists they've come across and dealt with in their own lives. She said, "...I would just always get DMs from my fans because people know that I'm an advocate for anti-bullying. I would always just look at my messages and see a bunch of my fans saying, "'Look at what this person said to me. I don't know how to deal with this.'" 
Jackson believes it is her duty to use her large platform for good, and her work certainly is making changes in the world. In fact, she's used her platform to directly accuse certain people of racism, revealing their names and other identifying details. Reportedly, several universities have opened investigations in response to her tweets. It's a controversial tactic, but Jackson's followers definitely appreciate her efforts. As the young star and activist told Forbes, I have the best fans ever. They just love it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!